His Case Beneath the Moon, Chapter 1, Luna POV I was looking at myself in the mirror, wearing a gorgeous white gown. It was like a full-skirted ball gown, typically featuring embellishments, sparkles, and beading. I felt pure happiness within me as I looked at my tousled hair pinned with flowers. My makeup was just soft and subtle. It was just enough, just enough to enhance my natural beauty. I reached for my Lily of the Valley bouquet. I've never thought this day would come. All I could feel was pure happiness. I glanced at myself once more in the mirror before leaving the room. As I went down the stair, my hands were sweating. I'm a little bit nervous now. I wished my parents were here to witness this important day in my life. How I wish I could hug and kiss them again. As I opened the main door to step outside, the breezy air touched my skin. I felt a creepy feeling as I looked around. In the garden, empty chairs welcomed me. Where are the people? I ask myself. My feet lead me to the altar where the groom should be waiting, but no one is there. I felt confused and my heart started to beat fast. I took a deep breath and continued walking. It's getting dark now. I don't know what is happening. The wind was blowing and trees started to dance with it. I looked into my bouquet and was surprised to see it slowly turning brown. The plants around start to die. I heard a painful howl. What is that? I tried to look around, but all I saw was darkness. I heard another howling, and it was getting louder and louder. My blood ran cold, and it scared me so much. Luna! Luna! A voice pulls me from my sleep against my wheel. I scrunch my eyes. It was just a dream. Luna Cassandra! I heard someone calling my name from outside the window. Luna Cassandra Murphy! Hey! Are you awake? I saw my clock and it was 6 in the morning. Luna, come down! Hurry! Oh no, I knew that voice. Ellie, my best friend, with blonde hair, always in shorts and boots. What is she doing here? Oh, let me guess. She's here to tell me that she's with someone again in the club last night. Luna, come with me. She kept on shouting. Oh, I need to close my ears this time. Luna, your brother Tristan was found dead near the river. What? Did I hear it right? In just a blink of an eye, my whole world stopped. Without even looking at myself in the mirror, I hurriedly ran down the stairs. I might miss here a while ago. I ran quickly and accidentally stepped onto my cat's tail, Peavy. Oh, I'm sorry, Peavy. I opened the door to look for Ellie and saw her in front of my house. She looked so scared and cheeks went in tears. What did you say? Tears started to form in my eyes. Tristan, um, he was found, um, blood all over his body. Oh my god, as Ellie trembles in front of me. What? I don't understand. What do you mean blood? I felt like I want to faint. Just come with me, Luna. Ellie holds my hand and leads me the way to the river. As we hurriedly walked, my world was spinning. 
I want to run out of breath. I never expected this day will come. As the river came into view, there I saw the police and people murmuring and talking while looking at a body bathed in blood. At first, I was hesitant to come near. My whole body was shaking. Ellie holds my hand tied and gave me a comforting hug. As we approached the crowd, I felt a stabbing pain in my chest as I saw my brother dead. There were lots of wounds on his body. Who could have done this to him? I knelt in front of my brother's body as the police tried to control the crowd. I heard Ellie whispering something. I can't understand her anymore. My mind was twisting and I don't know what to do. It was just last night when I and my brother had dinner together. He cooked pasta and some fried chicken. We talked a lot and laughed together as he told stories about the funny things he witnessed in his workplace. He was always the clown in the family. He always makes me laugh when I am sad. He always reminds me to be good in school. The police say that my brother must have been attacked by wild animals while in the place. Wild animals? Why on earth would my brother come to the woods and be beaten by wild animals? I've never heard of such wild animals before, I told the police. I remember how my brother hates the forest. He preferred to spend the whole time in the city rather than have a one-day vacation in the cabin in the woods. We need to investigate further. We will give you updates soon, said the police officer. I turned to see Ellie. Her face was pale. Tears kept rolling down her face. We hugged each other. I still can't believe that my brother was dead. I don't know what to say. He was the only family I have. Both our parents died when we were kids. They died in a car accident while they were on their way to the downtown of Ashland here in Oregon. Our loving Aunt Patricia took care of us just last year when Aunt Patricia died of cancer. I am 22 years old and still in college. My brother works as a physical therapist assistant. He works hard to support my studies. I told my brother that I wanted to be a journalist someday. We have relatives in Portland, but I'm not that confident to ask for help from them. I cried in pain. What will happen to me now?